In this video, we're going to discuss how to create a parcel table and how the creation of a parcel table will convert your segment labels into tag labels. So to create a parcel table, what you have to do is you have to be in the annotate tab in the ribbon bar and drop down add tables and select parcel. And then you have four table styles that you can choose. You can have add line table, add curve table, add segment table, which will include lines and curves, and then add area table. What we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to do an add segment table uh, where we're going to convert all of the segment labels into tag labels and then display them in a table. So let's go ahead and select add segment. And then inside of the table creation window, we can choose our table style. If you want to have more information, you can either edit, which I'm selecting here for your table style, or you can create a new table style. Inside of there, if you go to data properties, uh, you can add information in here to gain extra information on your lines and your curves. So what I can go ahead and do is I can click on the line set area of this table. And I can double click in here and I can create additional data uh, for that line with these options available to me. And then I also have curve data available to me with these drop down options available to me. I am not going to change my table style, so I'm going to go ahead and hit cancel. And then you have the option of how you want to orient your tables, whether you split the table and how many rows you want in the table and how many tables per stack you allow, what offsets you're going to have for those tables from each other, how you arrange those tables either across from each other or down, and then whether or not those tables are static or dynamic. So I'm going to leave dynamic. I'm going to have them labeled across from each other, and I will go ahead and leave my max rows and my maximum tables stacks the same. And now what I have to do is I have to select either the tags that we want to put in the table, or I have to select the labels that we're going to then convert to tags. So I'm going to go ahead and pick on the screen the labels that I want to include. I'm going to go ahead and drop a window across all of my labels that I have. And Civil 3D has only selected the segments because we're creating a segment table. So I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. And what Civil 3D is telling me is saying, do you want to convert all of your selected labels to tags? Uh, and if you don't, then just add the tags to that table. So I know that I want to add all of these segments and I want to convert all of these segments to tags. So I'm going to go ahead and select convert all selected label styles to tag mode. And then what's going to happen here is I have now selected 25 labels that are going to become tags, and then I'm going to create a table off of them. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK, and then I'm going to choose a corner for where I'm going to place my table. And when I place that table, it's going to create a table. As you can see, it says line number and curve number, and it has a either an L for line or a C for curve. And those L and C numbers associate with these now tags instead of labels for the parcel segments.